What's going on boys, Shane from Rocket Power Sound and in this video we're going to make the first place played in Jaws and Megalodon's track Shark Attack and this is what it sounds like. Another note. Yeah, so really easy sound to make and as soon as I heard it I knew exactly what I was going to do to recreate this. So starting off we are just going to go ahead and initialize this patch. Now um, we're going to be using a 3 oscillator setup so oscillator A, oscillator B we're going to be running off of frequency modulation. In this case, oscillator A is going to be the host of the of the frequency modulation. So basically, the sound is going to be outputted from this oscillator, and oscillator B is going to be the signal. So we are going to turn on noise, and we're just going to turn this down just a tad bit to add on that extra touch to the sound, you know? But first things first, we're going to go to oscillator A and select basic shapes. Where are you at? Basic shapes in our analog section. Now, <laughs> uh, square, square, waveform actually has that really distinct uh, sound you know when it's applied with distortion and that's how I knew that this was going to be our host waveform um, that you could hear in the sound so first things first we're going to drop oscillator B's level and turn on frequency modulation from B so so now we're starting to get somewhere uh, we're just going to drop that FM from B um, to be modulated with LFO1 and we're just going to create this nice kind of waveform that's what I'm talking about let's get it oh yeah so I'm gonna turn that en envelope so it just plays once and we're just going to turn that level not all the way down but at about four or five percent that way um, it just starts off it doesn't start off at zero you know it's it, it just helps add in a little bit more extra um, like sound to the sound you know you're going to be able to hear more as uh, we add on more effects. So oscillator B, we're going to go ahead and select mellow but unstable, which once again is in the analog section. And from here, we are just going to kind of kind of find, you know, it's all really the same around here, so it doesn't really matter that much of what we're going to be doing but the main idea here is to turn this oscillator up two octaves so we get so we're already almost there the filter we are going to switch to a high pass okay high 24 that's good and really we're just going to cut out these lower end frequencies maybe turn on a little bit of drive to add on that um, extra sound and turn up the fat okay so you guys are starting to hear the sound is really starting to come together now we're gonna enter in the effects section and the hyper as cool as that does make it sound it kinda takes away from uh, draws the style so we're gonna turn down that mix about there and then just because it does kind of smooth out the sound a lot so I mean we don't need it that much dimension we're gonna turn down that size and then turn up that mix all right now now we're really starting to form the sound all right so from here it really is all optional you can turn on a phaser to add on a little bit extra so I'm gonna do this and kind of find the right spot when the hertz kind of match up with the tone of the frequency. Right there is good. And then of course turn on a multiband. And that's really all it took to make this sound. I mean you could throw on more distortion. But it's all optional. Um, one last thing that you can do is uh, you can go ahead and make a nice little volume or uh, tune drop. All you do is you go to LFO2, kind of create the same, this kind of curve I have going on here, and change that rate down to one fourth and turn it on envelope. Um, that way it only plays with the volume envelope. And then destination, global master tune, turn this up one and turn this type to here. 
now we're starting to form a lot better the tuning that actually takes place in the original track. So that's going to wrap today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I'm out. Make sure before I leave, you guys hit that sub button. And can we get to 100 likes, please? It means the world to me. So if you guys can click that like button, if it really isn't that much work for you, then please do so. I'm out.